Hi, my name is Matt Walden. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm a graphics operator, not a PowerPoint guy, a graphics operator. I wanted to take a moment to uh, share a recent project with you that I worked on. Mike Walker Creative out of Dallas, Texas had a corporate client uh, that was putting on a show and he hired Evan French and Big Picture Productions out of Nashville and Kansas City to run the video. Big Picture hired me uh, to kind of take over all the graphics for the show. Um, and I wanted to share that with you. We had, uh, from the beginning, we had a fairly large plan. We had two large landscape screens on the outside of the stage. And these screens were going to be powered by the video truck. They were going to be predominantly for iMag and live video. Um, I was going to send a feed to the truck with uh, video playback uh, for videos that we needed to play or, or speakers' presentations. Um, but the cool thing about this show was they had five portrait screens directly behind the stage and they're not just normal size screens these are very large screens so what we did was we took the landscape screens and we rotated them 90 degrees we rotated the projectors 90 degrees and what we ended up with was four projection screens that were all 24 feet tall by 13 and a half feet wide um, flanking an LED wall in the center now the LED wall was 25 feet tall and 18 feet wide and it was on a moving track so it could move forwards and backwards um, so it was up to me um, to rotate the image first of all that was one of my main factors uh, as I started to plan how I was going to pull it off um, I needed a, a software with multi-screen capability um, and I needed the ability to operate all of those screens either individually or as a complete cohesive unit um, so I've used Renewed Vision products for a long time, uh, Pro Presenter, Pro Video Player, and I knew that Pro Video Player was my choice. Um, it's fantastic with multi-screens. Um, Pro Video Player 2 makes pixel mapping simple. Uh, image rotation is simple. Um, so that's the route that I went. Uh, I have a new Mac Pro, and so with this setup, I, I had it in my mind that I could uh, set it all up and um, use one computer to power all of the screens. Uh, and that's exactly what I was able to pull off. So I was going to share with you how I did it. Um, the Mac Pro has six Thunderbolt ports. I wanted to leave one Thunderbolt port open, and I'll get to why I wanted to do that here in a minute. That left me five Thunderbolt ports and an HDMI port um, in order to power all of these screens. So what I did was into one of the Thunderbolt ports, I plugged a Matrox Triple Head to Go DP Edition. Um, that gave me three outputs out of one Thunderbolt port. That left me four ports open, um, so I had four, uh, four outputs coming out of those four ports. Uh, one of those was powering my user monitor, uh, but basically I was sending out six other outputs aside from my user monitor. Um, one to the truck for video playback, and then five outputs for each of the five portrait screens uh, that we were dealing with. I left the one Thunderbolt port open because what I wanted to do was take a live video feed in. So with the help of a Blackmagic Ultra Studio 3D, I got an aux send from the truck, um, put it in through my Thunderbolt port, and was able to take live video in and add effects uh, in real time to video and spit it back out on any one of the screens that I wanted. Uh, because they were portrait screens and not landscape screens, it got a little... Uh, little interesting because we had to crop all of our images, scale all of our images, and especially with live video, I have to give a shout out to our director, Rick Hutchinson, who did a great job of uh, helping our cameraman to shoot within safe zones for me. Um, normally, he's just worried about shooting stuff in landscape, but he took great care to uh, shoot stuff, try and keep stuff in the center, so that when I was playing live video on any of the uh, singular portrait screens, uh, that we didn't have faces that were in the uh, the black, the dead areas, or um, you know, one of the other things that we had to deal with was graphics, not having letters going over areas where there was no coverage. Um, so uh, it was a it was an interesting project. Um, but one of the coolest things with live video is that I knew there was going to be some latency because we're taking a signal into my computer, we're manipulating that signal and spitting it back out but I had no idea how fast it was going to be. Um, it was two frames latency max. It was almost spot on with what was happening on the landscape screens. Uh, that's what was happening on the portrait screens after getting uh, spit through my computer. Uh, I used either the uh, built-in effects in Pro Video Player 2 or I used my own effects basically by just going into the, the manual option 
uh, playing a motion background or loop or graphic, whatever, and, uh, and blending it into the live video. Um, so for me, it was stunning. It was a, there was a unified look uh, to the whole piece. Um, if I wanted to, I can make all five of the portrait walls one, um, or with the click of a button, I can make them all individual. And Pro Video Player 2 did a great job helping me to do that. Uh, the client was happy and I was blown away by how easy PVP2 made what could have been a very difficult project. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, tutorial on how I pulled it off. I um, hope you enjoyed the glimpse into my world. Thanks for watching. You stay classy graphics operators.